Okay, we're going to talk about question 16 from the unit 10 review. In order to begin this one, it's asking us to choose two tenors and five altos and three sopranos from a group of five tenors, seven altos, and five sopranos. So the group over here of five tenors, seven altos, and five sopranos is going to be the one we're choosing from. So these are going to be our ends. And the group over here that we're choosing, these are going to be the ones that we actually want to pick. These are our R's. And we're trying to do this to form a choir. So the first question we ask ourselves is if order matters. And in this case, it doesn't. So because order doesn't matter, these are going to be combinations. So what we're going to have to figure out is how many ways we can choose a tenor. So we have five to choose from, and we only want to pick two. So we're going to do 5C2 for our first part of our decision. Now we're also going to have to choose altos, and we're going to have to do 7 choose 5, because we have 7 to choose from, but we only want to pick five of them. And lastly, we're going to have to take sopranos. We have five of them to pick from. We only want three. So 5 choose 3. Now, we have to ask ourselves if these decisions are happening at the same time or at separate times. We're trying to make one choir, and the choir has to have all of these people in it. So the choir has to have a total of uh, 10 people, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 people. And so we've chosen 2 here, 5 here, and 3 here. So we have all 10 people if we take all three of these choices at the same time, which means we have to multiply between each choice. So all we have to do to find our final answer is plug that in our calculator, and it will give us a final answer of 2,100. All right, now I want to take a look at question number 17. Question 17 is a little bit longer. Sorry for the blurry video. I don't have anything to prop this up on, so I'm just holding it. hope it doesn't make you nauseous. Okay, question 17 says we have a summer camp. We've got 19 people. 13 are children and 6 are adults. We have to select 4 people to plan an activity first. And we can choose any 4 people. So we have 19 people and we need 4 of them. And we have to ask ourselves, is the order we pick them matters? And it doesn't. So because it doesn't, we're going to be using a combination. So we just have to do 19C4. When we plug that into our calculator, it gives us 3,876. So that's going to be the answer for part I. For the second portion, it's asking something a little bit more specific. It says, how many ways are there if there must be two adults and two children working together? So we have to pick two adults and two children. So we're going to have to make a decision about adults. We have six to choose from, and we only need two. So we'll do 6C2 for that portion. And then we have to decide on the children. We have 13 to choose from, and we only need two of them, so we'll have to do 13C2. Then we ask ourselves if this is happening at the same time or different times. So we have to pick four people to plan an activity. Here we've only picked two. Here are the other two. So both of these are from the same decision, so they're going to happen at the same time. They're going to be multiplied. And once we multiply those together, our answer is going to be 1,170. Now for the third part of this question, It's asking us how many ways are there to select this committee if there must be at least one adult. In order to do this, we have to find the total ways that we can do this with no restrictions. We have to subtract the ways in which there are no adults because we don't care about any of the ways that there are no adults because we want at least one adult in our final answer. So. The total ways that we can solve this with no restrictions is going to come from the first part we did up here. The total ways we can pick any four people. We have 19 people to choose from. We need to choose four of them. That's it. Now we have to calculate the ways that we can have no adults. And we have no adults if we have all children. So the number of ways we can choose all children, we're choosing four people. They're all children. We have 13 children to choose from. We're choosing four of them, 13C4. 
Now we have to ask ourselves if these decisions are happening at the same time or at different times. So we have to choose four people altogether. In this choice, we've chosen all four. This one's done. In this choice, we've chosen all four. This one's done. So these choices are happening at different times. We'll subtract these two things, subtracting. So all we have to do is type this in our calculator, 19C4 minus 13C4. And our final answer for this is going to be um, 3,164. Just kidding. I lied. 3,161. There we go. Total number of ways to have at least one adult. That's it for question 17. We'll pick up with question 18 in the next video.